Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a wheel for a scooter, and it simply takes five parts. So the first part we're going to start with is a thin torus. Now, when you drop that torus on, no numbers show up. So you need to go up here to your helpers, and you need to get a ruler, drag it out, and drop it. Now we can see the measurements showing up, which is very important. The other thing you want to do is go to your snap grid and change this to 0.1, and that will give you finer control. It's very important. All right, now let's go ahead and color that torus green. And we're going to go ahead and change these measurements. Let's change this to 31.75 by 31.75 to 4.83 high. All right, there's our first part done. Now let's do our second one. Let's go ahead and get the cylinder and let's color that pink and we're going to change this to 28 by 28 square and we're going to give it a height of 2. All right, now what we want to do is align these in three dimensions. So I'm just going to roughly put them together. It doesn't have to be perfect. Select both pieces go up here to adjust. We're going to align them here and here and here. And I always like to take a look at it and see what it looks like, make sure that's exactly what I wanted. Select both parts and we're going to group them, but I want to preserve different colors. All right, that takes care of our two parts so far. The next part we need is a half sphere. Drag that out. Go ahead and color that yellow. And we're going to change those dimensions to 5 by 5 square. And that's going to be by a height of 2. All right, now all of these are laying on the same work plane. If I were to drag this over here, it would get buried. So I'm going to pull this up just a little bit. You can see it's kind of cutting through the outer thin torus. That's fine. Okay, what I'm going to do is use my arrow key just to kind of eyeball it and kind of get it to the center. I'm going to come over here, select all parts. I want to adjust them by aligning them. I'm going to align it here and here, but I'm not going to align it over here. What I want to do now is kind of enlarge this. I want to take this little piece and I want to just drop it just a little bit into that pink cylinder. There we go. That's all I need. All right, now I know that this little piece is definitely a part of this wheel. Select all parts, group them. Okay, that takes care of three pieces so far. Our next piece is a cylinder. Drag it out. All right, now on this piece, let's go ahead and color it blue. And we're going to change those dimensions to 5 by 5 square. And we'll make that have a height of 4. And this little piece actually needs to go on the underside of this wheel. So what we're going to do is I'm going to temporarily close this up. And we'll go ahead and take this wheel, and I want to turn it. 90 degrees. Okay, so we're going to take it this way. I'm going to drag way as far away as I can to get more control, and I'm looking to see 90 degrees. There's our 90, and then I'm going to hit the D key, the D key to, to hit it on and put it on the work plane. All right, now we're going to come over here. We're going to take this part, and this needs to be turned 90 degrees. There we go. And turn our view a little bit. I'm going to use the arrow key just to scoot this guy over. All right, now what I want to do, I'm going to hit the D key to bring that onto the work plane. I'll scoot it forward a little bit so that it kind of penetrates that green torus just a little bit. All right, now I'm going to align this. We're going to align it in only two ways here and here. Alright, now we're going to look at that. 
Now that blue cylinder is not penetrating the yellow half sphere. That's perfect. When I look at that little blue cylinder, I want it to stick out from the wheel because I'm using it as a spacer. It will prevent the wheel from hitting the body of the scooter. You can click it and you can choose to use your arrow keys to send it more in or more back. So let's just see if I were to hit that arrow key too many times, I'm going to start coming out where I have that little yellow half sphere. So I need to back it out. In fact, I'm going to enlarge this just a little bit. I want that to go back, back, back. Back some more. That looks pretty good. And it's up to you to decide how much space you want. It's not really critical. I just don't want it coming through that half sphere. All right, so now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and group everything. All right, everything is now treated as one piece, and we now have four different colors. All right, the last thing we need to do is drag out a cylinder. This is going to end up being turned into a hole tool. We want to change its dimensions to 2.4 by 2.4. And we can go ahead and leave it at a, a height of 20. That's fine. This needs to be turned 90 degrees. I'm looking for that 90 at the bottom of the screen. Sometimes you have numbers on top of numbers and it's hard to see. There we go. There's our 90. And I'm going to go ahead and move this back. Just kind of approximate it. I'm going to spin around here and look at this better. Move this over with my arrow keys. All right, now what I want to do is go ahead and align this, adjusting, and here you can hit all three, here, and here, and here. Now, let's take a look. Now, as you can see, it's going through too much, so what we do is we're going to back this out a little at a time. So I'm going to, I'm going to select all of these, and I'm going to bring this down a little bit closer so I can show you better what we're doing. All right, we're going to click this. We're going to back it out. Okay, there it is, flush with that little half sphere. We're going to back it out some more. And you can see one, two, three, four, and you can kind of decide about how much needs to go through. I do want this tool to cut through the blue cylinder, to go through this yellow, or excuse me, this pink cylinder, and just a little bit into that yellow uh, half sphere. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move it one more. All right, now I'm going to turn that. I'm going to click it, make it active, and make it a pull tool. And now I'm going to group all parts. All right, now is always the fun part. You turn your wheel around, and you're going to look inside that blue cylinder, and I should see three colors. So I see the blue, I see the pink, and I see the yellow but I still have yellow, so that means it's still solid on the other side. That way when I glue a rod into this, that rod has the ability to uh, go ahead and adhere to the blue, the pink, and a little bit into that yellow. So it has a, a good surface area. So there you go. How to make a scooter wheel. Thanks for watching.